Hey everyone, it's Miss Allison. I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right guys, so we worked on the independent reading and just with the timing of our semester and just kind of how things have been going. It's been a couple weeks since we've talked about that. So thanks for finishing that book. We are now going to take some time here at the end of the semester to reflect and hopefully get to know about some books that our classmates read that maybe you want to read as well. So let's take a look at your directions for this slides presentation. Your learning target is I can share my review of my independent reading book by creating an intriguing slides presentation. And your success criteria is I have created a diverse slides presentation. So really the goal is to inform uh, um, your classmates about what you read and how you felt about it using this format. So if we look over here guys at your slides, you're gonna go through and I have put directions for you on each slide or kind of like an idea of what to put. You will obviously delete those things and make it your own. This is truly a blank canvas, so you can make it look however you want, use whatever templates and backgrounds and videos, like you can really um, go as far as you want with this, sky's the limit, make it look awesome. So here you would put the name of your book in your name, but delete these things, put those real things there. On this one, again, you can go ahead and delete what it says up here, but just know that this slide is looking for the main characters. Who do we need to know about? If your book is super complicated and had like 55 people in it, pick the top characters that you think we need to know about. You can do pictures, you can do videos, kind of whatever works best for you here. But I'm also going to be looking for your writing. So tell us who that person is. Cool. All right. Next one, main events. Again, um, don't go super, super crazy with this one because some of you are like, I read a 600 page book, right? Like that's a lot. But think also other people are going to be watching this. Don't spoil it. If you know what reading rainbow is, which I hope you do, it's kind of like that. So you really want to get people intrigued. Give us some juicy things that happen, but don't tell us like, and then the blah, 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 like, you know, don't tell us that the treasure was found or whatever. Just get us to the point where we're like, that's interesting. I want to read more. Okay. Again, this can be one, more than one slide and you can delete these things and make it look however you want. Excellent. All right. Conflict is the next one. So think about one of the main conflicts. Again, this is a hard question. Some of you are like, there was conflict on every page. True. Pick one that you think would be interesting or maybe um, important to the rest of your presentation that we need to know about and then think about how the characters deal with it. You can delete all of this once you have that in there. The next slide is your review. So give us your honest opinion about this book. Was it something you enjoyed? Did you hate it? Was it a struggle to get to the end? Could you not put it down anywhere in between? Tell us what you thought about it. You can do a video here. I mean, again, sky's the limit on how you do this. It would be fun to see you guys use different options for this one. And then on this one down here, redesign the cover. So Again, you can use different pictures or memes or really whatever you want. You can draw and upload your own picture, but I would love to see what you think the book cover should look like separate from the one that already exists. Okay, awesome. We will be presenting these slides on Flipgrid tomorrow. So please take some time on this today. Make sure that it's ready to go and know that tomorrow you'll be presenting it on Flipgrid. Let me know if you have any questions.